There she was at that major Republican fundraising event, Sarah Palin, seen but not heard from. A controversy perhaps emblematic of a party struggling to find its voice. Back in March, Governor Palin was actually announced as the headliner of the event. But when she wavered, she was replaced by former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, considered a potential rival for the party's presidential nomination in 2012. Last week, she was reportedly asked to speak again, but then disinvited, although she was repeatedly recognized from the stage. All of this raising questions about whether the party knows what to do with Palin. They see Sarah, and they can't corral her and control her. She could say anything, my golly. And, and this unnerves them. Palin is clearly wildly popular with parts of the party base. She drew a crowd of 20,000 in upstate New York over the weekend. Many feel it'd be a huge mistake for party bigwigs to alienate her, especially since this is a party out of power with a 39% favorability rating. She plays in a very exciting game, whereas the rest is somewhat boring. And, and so I think she is an enormous asset to our party. On the other hand, Palin is an unpredictable and often polarizing party spokesperson. Witness her comments on Fox News last night. If Americans aren't paying attention, unfortunately, our country could evolve into something that we do not even recognize. Certainly that is so far from what the founders of our country Socialism. had in mind for us. Well, that is where we are headed. Not to mention she's a magnet for controversy from her daughter's teenage pregnancy to allegations that in a recent speech, she borrowed heavily from an article by Newt Gingrich without giving him proper credit. Gingrich's remarks last night were gracious. I felt looking at John McCain and Sarah Palin, this country would have been amazingly better off had they been in the White House. That was a reference to a backstage reunion between the Palins and John McCain, who sent out a note on Twitter about how much he enjoyed the encounter. It's unclear how long this Palin kerfuffle will play out, but there's one thing that is unquestionably true. The Democrats are enjoying every minute of it.